Hey everyone, we have made it here in Suriname, and so I just wanted to update you and let you know what's been going on. Uh, so for these past couple of days, the men have actually just been pressing into each other, just sharing our vulnerability, and just sharing some of the struggles that we face as men. And so, you know, we really haven't had an set agenda for ministry uh, until today. God just gave us a clear vision of what we're going to be doing. Because, you know, this month is also um, known as Unsung Hero where we just pray and ask the Lord to just guide us wherever it is that He wants to take us. And so yesterday our squad leader went and ate uh, lunch with one of his friends that he grew up with in Indonesia who actually lives here in Suriname. And so today as we went to church, um, after the service we talked to a gentleman named Paul just telling him what the world race was about, what we're doing, and that we have planned to leave to, leave to go to French Guiana on Wednesday. And uh, he was just like, what's stopping you to go on Tuesday? And we're just like, uh, nothing really and we just kind of looked startled at each other and now uh, he just continued to tell us that he's actually going to French Guiana on Tuesday and he had been thinking to himself that he really just didn't want to travel by himself and was hoping that some other people would come along and so it was just crazy to see that you know that's where we're going so we have a ride on Tuesday to go there and not only that he has connections with the ferries uh, in French Guiana and also in Brazil and it even knows people that we can stay with once we get into French Guiana and so, and even on top of that, we actually have the opportunity that we're going to get to go into the interior parts of the Amazon. And so it's just been crazy to see the Lord just open up the doors uh, today. And then on top of that, uh, Pastor Ivory just invited us to a birthday party tonight and also gave us money for lunch. And so today, all the men, we actually got to go out to eat at Pizza Hut, something we haven't been able to do in a while, just because on the world race, we're on a budget, pretty much $5 a day per person. And so it was just amazing to see that God was just showing us, you know, what it's like to really be dependent on Him and trust Him in this time of this month and just allowing us to be patient and just to receive. I think so many times we become so impatient that we try to make things happen for ourselves. Um, and the Lord is just like, if you'll just be patient and just keep searching me and just uh, sit in silence, there's things that I want to show you. And so.